Hey guys, so, I'm going to do a very quick, not very quick, we're going to go through the whole game. I'm going to do a Dota 2 auto chess mobile, or auto chess mobile beginner guide. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I do in the opening strategies. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to build up an economy and what rounds you should be doing what. Um, there is a generic way that you play this game that you can then build off of how you want depending on uh, on how much you played. I'm actually just going to make sure this is in full screen so it looks doesn't look awful. So... When it comes to building an early strategy, don't commit to a particular tribe of of pieces very early on. It's nice to have essentially the options, and that's why I generally spend everything. Um, I generally try and sprint, spend everything in the early game. So I haven't really been offered many good synergies here. So I'm just going to essentially buy what I want and uh, and hope it works out for me. That's probably what I, do, I recommend most people doing. Because you don't really need to level up or roll in the early game, um, and that's another big thing, please do not roll chess pieces in the early game. It's a complete, complete waste of money. Just spend all of your gold on chess pieces to see if you get some lucky synergies over the next couple of rounds. Um, I don't have an idea of what I'm going for in terms of synergy. I might be able to go for uh, something like trolls. I might be able to go for something like goblins, but it looks like I've not got, been given anything that good here. Um, I'm going to pick up these guys. I'm going to pick up this guy as well. Um, none of these guys are particularly amazing. I haven't really been given too many uh, too many synergies here because the goblin synergy, as you can see, is uh, three. But I might as well just uh, go with what I've been given. And when it comes to leveling up, um, you will might find that once you hit level 4, you can immediately level up to level 5. A lot of people do this instead of buying chess pieces. It really depends on, you know, you and kind of like uh, the way that your particular game is going. Um, I really haven't been given anything good here, but I've got quite a few different sets of piece, set, set of chess pieces. So I might want to level up to level 5 immediately. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's going to be two rounds before I can do that. Hell Knight, Phantom Queen. Ooh, this is a rough one. What do I want to go for? I'm probably not going for Assassins, but I might as well take Phantom Queen. And I'll drop him back and put them there. So next round, I might level up to level 5, for instance, and then I can have 5 chess pieces um, on my second round. But at the moment, I've literally just got, essentially, uh, 3 versus 3. I don't even have the Assassin. I don't even have the Assassin buff. This guy's got mech buffs. I'm probably just doomed, if I'm completely honest, but we'll see how it goes. Um, assassins do quite a lot of damage, and I've got some really good uh, special abilities. Looks like I'm going to get away. Ooh, looks like I just about got away with it. Let's see what I get. This, this is where I make the decision about whether, whether I want to level up to level 5 or not. Because I should have enough gold to level up to level 5 on the next round. I am going to level up to level 5. Not really anything there that I want to buy. And that's going to allow me to put this on. And I'm probably just going to put this on. Don't really have any good options. Tusk Champion. I could buy a couple of Tusk Champions. I could buy... Actually, tell you what. Get rid of him. There we go. I got the Goblins. The Goblin Synergies is pretty good. And I got some backline back, back damage. Don't have any, like, upgrades. He's got a level 2 tusk, as you can see. But uh, maybe the synergies carry me through here. I've also got those five chess pieces, which is going to give me a slightly early advantage. Looks like I'm going to make it through. And uh, now we're going to wait until we get into 4 XP of level 6, and then we're going to upgrade to level 6. So in four rounds' time, when you hit level uh, round 9, that's when you're going to look to upgrade to level 6. Now it's just about selecting pieces and trying to build some semblance of a... Uh, some semblance of a uh, kind of a, a collective. Again, I, I actually quite like just buying good pieces. So, werewolf's a good piece. Um, I might put him on. I might put him on over her, because him himself is he's just a good piece. And if I just move everything up. We just want to get into the battle with Werewolf as soon as we can. We've got two mechs. We've got three goblins. None of them are level two, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Probably a bit of a mistake to put him here, but he does generate his uh, ultimate a bit more quickly. 
And when I get my uh, ultimate out on Lycan, that's going to be pretty good. I think I might lose this, though. I think I've just lost. Yeah, I have. Again, I don't. He's got Terra Blade and he's got level two. I mean, the, the, in my opinion, the the kind of the synergies go like this: getting a level two on the board is the most important. Picking a good piece and then trying to build synergies. So upgrade your units, then just get get the good pieces like uh, Pirate Captain and and Medusa and stuff. This is good. This is exactly what I wanted, and I'm going to pick up her. I'm going to rank her up. I'm then going to pick up. I'm then going to pick up this guy. Because, although, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put him here, him here. So I've got two assassins on the field. I'm just going to do it like this. Um, I might, I'd, look, committing to mech strategies is always a rough, a rough idea. Um, the problem with mech strategies is that they're so easy for everyone to go. I'm probably going to sell... I'm, and sell pieces that you don't think you're going to end up needing. I'm definitely not going to need Tusker. There is the option for me to go Trolls. I'm probably not going to go for a human synergy. I could go Trolls. Um, trolls is definitely something to consider. But there you go. I mean, I, I've got a level 2 piece on the board. Look how much of an impact that had already. And now, in two rounds time, when I get to round 9, I'm going to upgrade to level 6. Oh, he's just a good... He's just good. Uh, So I'm going to buy all of this because the knight strategy is is also very good. Um, where has my where has my little skybreaker do, my goblin dude gone? I'm going to get rid of her. I'm going to put him on again. He's just a good unit, so I'm going to I'm going to put him on. I'm going to get rid of her as well. I'm not going to use her at all. He, this guy is level five. All right. Uh, he took a lot of damage, unfortunately. He took a lot of damage. My Doom was not positioned ideally, and I actually going to get killed. Um, he did just take a lot of damage, unfortunately. Again, not too bothered at this stage in the game. Losing health is fine. Um, my Doom was not in the uh, the prime position. Have I lost a mech from somewhere? That's a question. I'm gonna buy him. Hmm. I feel like I lost something somewhere. Hmm. Probably not going trolls. Gonna, I'm just gonna clear some space for things. Trolls, I'm probably not going here. So we'll buy a skyscraper. Five. Oh, I, I oh I wanted to level up this round. Okay, this is the round that I should have leveled up. Um, as you can see, I'm going up against someone with six people. I got a little bit distracted and didn't level up. That was a, an issue for me. I probably could have put on uh, another goblin, which would have been a really good idea. Don't think we're going to make it out of this one. I'm going to level up now, though. It, when you level up, it increases the the likelihood that you get good units on your uh, your bar. But that was the round that I should have leveled up. I got a little bit distracted. So if you want the strategy, round nine is the round that you should level up to level six. Uh, th from this point forward, it's all about building an economy. Uh, Aragali Knight. Cool. It's about building an economy from this point forwards. Let's put on him. Yeah, there we go. Four goblins. Let's put him on. I mean, it, I really i am struggling for level twos right now. I've been, I've been very rough. I'm not going to roll at this point in time, unfortunately. There is, I don't really like rolling. Oh, I did not want to buy him. But I've always wondered what the gob the dwarf synergy is. Increase the grids. Two grids of attack range. Ah, oh, interesting. I don't want a dwarf, but... So there is certain strategies when it comes to the neutral rounds. These guys are pretty easy, so it doesn't really matter. You can you can position however you want. God, my doom is sucking. I might have to put some... Um... Please win this round. Oh my goodness, please win this round. Few. I mean, I, again, I'm struggling because I don't have that many level twos, and that is definitely an issue. Oh my goodness, please win. Please win, thank goodness. This is a little bit too close for comfort. Okay, Soul Breaker, cool. Pirate Captain, like I said, is just a good unit. Uh, and I'm going to keep him for... I kind of want to keep my synergies going at the moment, although actually, if I'm completely honest, who cares? Get rid of him. 
we can put him back here there 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 probably not going elves we can sell him off I'm gonna buy the knight just an off chance that I end up going knights okay that's good that's not good that's I mean that's less good Okay, his lone druid is, um, or oh, that's his uh, warp wood. The healing's quite strong right now. Again, I don't have many level two units. Um, you can just consider going for, um, like, just. Oh, wait, wait a second. That's good. Rank up. Thank goodness, I've got a level two unit. Uh, right, I'm going to start putting some stuff on people. What does this combine into? That combines into that. That combines into that, which I don't have. What do I want to protect? I want to protect my Doom. You can have that. I want to protect my Kunker. Like, these are just good units. I just want to protect them for the moment. I don't really have any offensive weaponry, which is bad. Would love to have more offensive options, but I don't. Once I get some more knights on the board, I can get the combo with the undead. But at, at this point in time, I'm not that bothered about losing. It's just about building up, building up that economy. So when, you want, when you're level 6, you just want to save as much gold as physically possible. And the reason you want to save as much gold as physically possible is because every 10 gold, you're going to get an extra gold um, every round. It's called interest. And that interest is going to basically allow you to generate a more uh, stable economy. You get also gold for win streaks and win gold for lose streaks. Um, ideally, if I was losing over and over again, I would just want to continue to lose. Um, but it, because, I'm, because I'm not losing over and over again, I might as well just keep it the way I am and just... Um, and I just try and, and try and get some wins. The most important thing for me is hitting these 10 gold barriers. Now I'm at 20 gold. I'm going to get this. And if you hover over, it'll tell you I get five gold per round. I'm getting two interest because I'm 20 gold. You get one interest. You got one gold per 10 interest. You get a gold every time you get a victory. And then you get golds for win streaks and lose streaks. Um, right now, I've got neither because I've been winning and losing. And that's kind of awkward. But if I can get to sort of a, a more consistent winning pattern, then that'll be good. I will put a little sheet up with um, the g generic round by round strategy if you want to um, if you want to get hold of that. Essentially, what I'm going to be talking about is um, what I do on a round by round basis um, and and how I can like turn that into a strategy that I can play from. Oh my god! I just literally I got through that by the skin of my teeth. I'm not getting anything good. I mean, I kind of have to get him. But I got knights. I got. I mean, are we going goblins? I mean, do, I should keep the goblins, right? It's all a little bit awkward. I'll get rid of troll knight and just bring him in. On the off chance I can upgrade some level twos, mechs, that would be that would be great. Goblins. I need another mech on the board. Take out their lichen before he transforms. He transformed. That's annoying. We'll see what we can do. That's a really good boat, but I don't know if we're going to win anyway. He's got the necrophos. I got. A le I do have my level two. Um... Oh, that's going to hurt. Got away with it. I don't have any offensive weaponry either. I have to have a look. She doesn't have either, so we should be okay. We just again getting through by the skin of our teeth. We might even have a win streak now. We have an extra win streak. Hmm, Hell Knight. Again, I'm still weighing up that options of going towards knights later on in the game. Probably not going to go goblins now. Because we'll sell him. I'll bring the Hell Knight on. Hmm, if I can sell one more, if I sell one more, I can get to 40 gold and get the extra gold. But is it worth it? When it comes to leveling to level 7, that's up to you. You can level to level 7 early if you think having one of the extra um, units on the board is going to help you significantly. I like to wait a little bit longer. I should have... Um, this is my mistake. I should have positioned a bit better for this round. This is an assassin round, um, so you want to try and put your squishier targets away from the back because the assassins jump. I'm probably going to lose this round now just for the simple fact that um, because this is an assassin round, I didn't place my stuff. I'm too busy talking. Um, the way you should have placed, and I'll show you in the next round if you want to keep up with it. At least, at least, I mean, why am I getting defensive stuff all the time? Um, in a second, we'll see if I can get an extra kill. No, wrong, wrong target. Okay, never mind. Right. 
you want to put your you want to put something on the back line that's tanky so the way i would have positioned for that round if i was paying attention the way i would have positioned was put these up like this i would have put her and her there and i'd have put maybe like kunker there and i just want to keep those off the back line so that so the, the the wolves jump onto my uh, the wolves jump onto my kunker instead of jumping onto my or my pirate captain, sorry, rather than jumping onto my back line here. I'm happy to take another loss. I've still got 74 HP. That's perfectly okay. Um, I'm very close to that 50 gold barrier. Once you get to 50 gold, you can get no more interest. So you, there's no point going above 50 gold. Am I about to get boned? This guy is slightly above me, and yeah, I think I am. Yes, unfortunately, he's just got a lot of level 2 units. Everyone's going for Drow Ranger as well, which is... Um, which is annoying because I wanted to do that, but I probably will end up selling her. Again, I don't really have a good way to transition out of this. Eight win streak. Boom. Okay. We've got to do something pretty soon. Hopefully that involves getting more mechs. Okay, we can bring him on the field now. Aragali Knight. Okay, so we've got knights on the board now. I don't care about him. He's not been doing very well. So we're going to give that to him. We're going to give that to him. Got humans as well, which is important. Might consider going knights, but I've only got three knights. I've got four knights, actually. I would like to upgrade Luna and then get rid of... You know, you, you always want like a solid basic attack carry in the back line, so upgrading Luna would be really good. That's a big, big ship. Can it get the work done? Dragon Knight over here. Damn. Dragon Knight's so good. I really want a Dragon Knight. I think I'm just going to lose anyway. Alright, so at this stage I'm probably going to upgrade to level 7. Right, do that. Which is fine to go a little bit below... And upgrading to level 7 means I'm going to pull uh, this guy on. I'll put him here. Hmm. I'm above 50. I can roll once. Yeah, I'll pick up, I'll pick up those. Again, like having the knights as an option is always good. I'm keeping the mechs there for now. Probably will end up selling the mechs, but I would like to get some more level 2s. I'm close to getting a level 2 on some of the mechs, so I don't want to give up just yet. Um, it's all about like ab like using strategies, then abandoning strategies, and, and finding things that work for you as the game progresses. But now I'm level 7. Um, I've got that uh, a bit of knight synergy going on. I've got the undead synergy going on. I've got the mechs, and I've got the goblins too. So it's just giving me a bit more power. This guy is absolutely killing it at the top. I really hope I don't face him anytime soon, as I've only just started to get myself back in. What's his What's his gold at? He is at 22 gold. So he's actually spent quite a lot of gold, and I've got quite a lot of gold to work with. Okay. Oh goodness me! This is a. This is a. I mean, I, look, I'm probably selling mechs eventually, right? Frost Knight. So I mean, I don't want to sell him just in case I can get level two. Oof, this is a tough strategy. The Aragali Knight is a good one as well. Ah, uh, we, we're getting rid of him eventually, aren't we? Let's let's be re let's be real with ourselves. We're getting rid of him eventually. No, I'd like to buy that, please. Buy. Buy. Can I buy him? Apparently I cannot buy him. Usually you can buy. I'm just dead. Oh, that was so close. This is annoying. Oh, I've got 72 gold. This is insane. Evil Knight. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, okay. Bring her on. Rank up. That's cool. Oh, he's so close to being relevant. Evil Knight. Rank up. Rank up, rank up. Don't rank up. 
Right, we're going to get rid of the mech strategy now. I can buy during the thing. That's really weird. I was able, I did. I thought I was able to. Bloodthirsty mask. Broken sword. Combinable. Rank up. Thank you. Hell no. I think you can just combine it like the way combinable. Alright. On well, our regali night, let's go. There we go, Ranger. Oh, Lightblade Knight. Oh my goodness, I need to do this. What do I sell though? I'm just gonna I'm gonna lock this. So Yeah, locking this means I can use it the next round. I'll figure it out. Combinable. I want to combine it. I would like to put on. Yes, there we go. Thank you. This guy's doing pretty good. I think I'm just going to lose. But I'm very close to having my, uh, my late game strategy coming out. So I've locked. That's good. I've locked. I can unlock it now. I'm going to sell him. I'm going to bring him on. Also going to sell that. I'm going to go bang. I'm going to rank rank up. Rank. I'm going to bring Siren on. I've only got levels. I've only got six on there. There we go. Seven. And once I get a Hell Knight. Oh, I'm so close. Next round. Next round. I'll get the Hell Knight on. I'm probably going to give that over to Luna. That's a really nice stun. Okay, we're getting that. We're getting that. Siren's doing her job. All right. I'm way above the gold cap. I think there's a little bit of lag, so it's difficult for me to spend the amount of gold that I want to. Probably just going to put in some into... Probably just going to put a load into experience. In fact, I'm going to... I'm actually just going to level up. I'm actually just going to level up. Which is pretty good. And now I'm going to wait. Going to level up and now I'm going to wait. I've got four out of six knights. I could get a dragon knight. I would really like a dragon knight, actually. Having a dragon knight would be ideal. I'm going to keep this guy on until I can get something else. I actually have a really strong lineup now. So I transitioned out of mechs and goblins into to knights, which have got a, a, a stronger late game. Um... We'll see how we do. We're, we're playing the guy who's got like a, a massive win streak at this point in time. I think we might actually end up winning. I think we're actually going to start winning. That's really good. Nice. There we go. I just need a Dragon Knight. And I want to upgrade to level 3. Agarasis Ranger. Lightblade Knight. Hell yes. Shadow Crawler. Abyssal Guard. Hell Knight, rank up, and then a Gersis Ranger. Um, I don't care about Skybreaker because, again, I'm getting rid of him eventually. Probably, if I can get a Dragon Knight, I can go six Knights. I'll then sub out Kunker and him, and unfortunately Kunker will have to go. But I'll keep the Undead Synergy and stuff. What's the next... The next, the next uh, neutral phase is the easiest neutral phase in the game, so you don't have to do anything about it. The one after that is the dragon, and you need to split up for the dragon. But yeah, we well, can see you can see we're starting to do really well now. Who's this guy? Um, I trying to match the symbols. The guy below me, he's got a dragon knight. If someone dies, um, if someone dies, you can take their, their 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 pieces go back into this chess pool, and you can take the uh, take their pieces if they come up on your screen. Blight sorcerer, yes. So basically, sometimes you just see a legendary unit and you buy them. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm actually going to put her on the front line. I'm going to buy put Blight Sorcerer in. There we go. So sometimes you just want to have a legendary unit. Like, legendary units are just good, right? Hell Knight. Dragon Knight. Oh my goodness. I need to sell something. What am I selling? 
What am I selling? This guy. Screw this guy. Dragon Knight. Lightblade Knight. Cool. Full bench. I'll just... I'll just do it next round. Kappa. <laughs> Kappa. It's a cape and they called it Kappa. That's brilliant. Wait, combinable? What's combinable? Oh, they can go on him. Combinable, put on. There we go. Okay. Put her there. Buy that. Rank up. Put her back. Oh, Frost Knight. Rank up. Dragon Knight. Siren. Alright. We are about to go into full knight mode. Uh, wondering what I need to sacrifice to get all these knights on the board, though. Don't want to sacrifice him, and I kind of like having Siren. But six knights is just really strong. I could almost upgrade my Dragon Knight as well. Mm, we'll see. Pirate Captain. Hmm. Kind of want to get a level 3 on her. I'm also nearly at the Undead Synergy. I don't know what the last Undead is. What is the last Undead? Evil Knight. Duh, 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 duh. There's another Undead card that I can't remember what it is. Hmm. Oof, this guy's pretty strong, actually. Wait, how did my guy die at the back? Like, immediately. I might have to six knight it. I might have to just give up my um, give up my dreams. Give up my dreams and six knight it. All right, we're giving up our dreams. In goes the rest of the knights. Goodbye, Kunker. Six knights. There we go. Have that you can have that oh yes level three mm. sell him Get light blade knight. This is pretty good. Rank up. Level three. That is sick. That's the soul reaper. That's the fourth undead. I'm gonna buy it just for the, when I get up to level nine. I could actually go to level nine now. There we go. Level nine. Boom. We got four undead. We got six knights. This is like almost unstoppable. Gonna let my economy come back up a little bit again. Four knights, four and six knights, four undead. Probably shouldn't have my dragon knight on the front line though. I need to figure out a better positioning tactic for that. Irrespective though, oh, he's hexed that. Okay. Regardless, we're doing a lot of damage. We'll fight. We'll figure out better positioning. We'll figure out better positioning. Helicopter. <laughs> yes, I want a helicopter. Well, I don't want a helicopter, but... Let's put my Dragon Knight over here. How tanky is he? This guy heals. I'd much prefer my Dragon Knight to be back here. I need just one more Dragon Knight as well. Oh, these are these guys. So, sorry, the dragon is level 35. These guys are actually pretty tough. They hurt quite a lot. Should be able to kill them, though. Ghost Blade. That's pretty cool. 
Ring of Life. So Ghostblade does what? Attack damage increased by 30? Probably give that to her. Ring of Life I will give to... I'll give it to him. He needs a bit of help. Really just want a, another Dragon Knight, realistically. Ooh, Dark Spirit. Hell no. Ooh, Light Blade Knight. There we go. Basically impossible to beat me now. I don't see anyone beating me at this point. I've got a level 3 uh, Luna. I've got a level 3 um, Ranger as well. Oh, that's actually pretty rough. They've also got some legendaries in the field, but the, the six knights is just super strong. Would love another Dragon Knight, though. That would be insane. If I can get one more Dragon Knight, that would be really good. This guy's probably my closest competition. Do I care about Frost Knight at this point? Probably not. I'm not getting to level 10, I can tell you that. I just want to roll for Dragon Knight. Soul Reaper? Oh, baby. There we go. Evil Knight. He's not getting to level 3. No, no, it's level 3. Probably not. Probably not going to get him to level 3 either. Dragon Knight. There we go. Get a level 2 Dragon Knight. I mean, I, I think I've won anyway. I'm pretty sure I've won anyway. But, um, you know, just to really solidify the win. Just to really solidify the win, you know. It's us three left. Oh, he just about won. Rank up. Boom, baby. Alright, well, I don't think I need anything extra. I think, um, I think whatever happens now, I'm probably going to win. Four undead, two humans, a single demon synergy, and six knights. And this was all started off. This all started off with a strategy of me building some mechs and goblins. And look where I am now. It's just about being adaptable. Just about being adaptable. Kunker, it's not a great Kunker. Uh, heal. Oh, that's actually pretty rough. But I think. Uh, the damage is... Oh, actually, he's got a lot of legendaries. He's got a lot of legendaries. This could actually be very close. Have I over? Have I overstepped? I think I might be okay. I think I'm okay. Oof, my level 3's carried me. Blight Sorcerer. If I can get a level... Th if I can get a level 3 Blight Sorcerer. Holy moly. No. I don't want to sub anything out right now. I think the, the way I've got this set up is pretty good. Might put him over there. I'm going to put him him there. Lots of level 2s, level 1. I'm just waiting. What's this guy got? He's got a lot of level 3s. He's just splitting everything up. Again, I'm just protecting my back line. Oh, this is the guy who... Th that is a really, a really, really powerful unit. And I need to make sure that I can some somehow get on top of that. This guy is actually pretty good. Luckily, my level 3s are kind of carrying, but... Yeah, we good. We good. Is he winning? Is he winning? No, I think we won. I think we win. We have indeed won. There we go. Got the victory. So I did say I was going to do a little bit on uh, kind of my round-by-round round guide. So this is my little sort of generic cheat, cheat sheet for round-by-round round guides. Rounds 1 to 4 by everything. You want to be flexible. You don't want to commit to anything. Your biggest priority is getting a level 2 minion on the board. So make sure you just buy all of the chess pieces available to you. Round 5, level up to make sure that you hit level 5 or level up and buy or buy pieces so if there's any pieces that you want to buy that means that you can't get level five it's okay just get level five the next round um, otherwise get to level five at round five round nine level up again you should be level six round 10 onwards build an economy to 50 gold 
and start to build synergies like knight, elf, whatever you want to build. Um, this is the point in the game where you're going to start deciding what strategy you're going to try and commit to and what strategy you're going to try and roll chess pieces for. When you get to 50 gold, keep above it unless you are in a desperate situation or that there's purchases that you need to make. At 50 gold and above, you're going to get 5 extra gold per round. It will not go any higher, so make sure you spend your gold if it is above 60 because you're not going to get any benefit from being above 60 gold. Here's some general advice. Be flexible. Make sure you have multiple strategies in mind. In this game, I thought I was maybe going to go Mech Goblin. I decided to sack that in and I went for Knights instead. Don't commit to your strategy from round one. Um, again, there's lots of different strategies available in this game. Some are better, some are worse. Um, don't commit to your strategy from the early game. Make sure that you can, again, be flexible. Don't be afraid to go for a lost streak. Lost streaks can generate you a lot of income. It can help you reach 50 gold, especially in the early game, and you won't take much damage. Your HP is a resource at the end of the day. In general, this rule of thumb applies for the early to mid game especially. The number one thing that you want is unit levels. A level 2 unit in general is going to be your best bet at getting wins. Then you just want the good units. So good units are things like Pirate Captain, Siren, um, Doom, anything like that. They're like just good units. I'll put, I might put out a, a unit tier list um, so you guys kind of know what the units are good. Then you want to do synergies. This is, but as the game goes on, when people start to get unit levels and people start to get more and more good units, synergies become more important. But from the early to mid game, unit levels are most important. Then just getting the good item, good units, and then sort of going towards your synergies. And finally, make sure you use your items. These items are really important. You can sell a unit and get them back. If you know that you're going to sell a unit, just put the items on that unit. They, uh, they In general, you're never going to get too many uh, situations where you're going to get a really big combine. Combines are sort of sometimes usually just uh, a, a thing of luck. Um, hopefully that was interesting for you guys. If you want to know, know more about positioning and a more advanced guide, you can go and check out my guide that I did for the PC version because everything that applies to the PC version applies to this. But I will also do one for the mobile version in the coming days and weeks. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you soon.